The Cal State Northridge women's basketball team defeated Cal Poly 79-77 Thursday night to improve to 5-1 in Big West play. Violet Alama scored the game-winning basket with 30 seconds left and hit an insurance free throw to seal the win. Ashley Gway led the Matadors with a season-high 23 points and tied the school record with seven three-pointers. Jasmine Irving finished with 19 points and 11 rebounds to post her eighth double-double of the season. She also had a career-high five blocks against the Mustangs. Janae Sharp finished with 13 points and nine assists, and Haley White added 10 points and five assists as the Matadors held off the Mustangs for a two-point win. team and, and, and they showed it. Uh, Christina Santiago is a very good basketball player. She, you know, coming in here, she was uh, she was third in the country in scoring. Um, and so, you know, in the first half, I thought we did a pretty good job of taking care of making her take tough shots. Uh, I think in the second half, she got better post position. She got in deeper. Uh, she got some easier looks. She got to the free throw line. Um, they shot, you know, several more free throws than we did. Uh, but, you know, that was a credit to them being aggressive and them going at us. So, you know, all the credit to them for, for them making shots and, and, you know, playing the style that, that they play. We know, you know, they have some shooters who can knock it down from the perimeter, and that's what they did. Uh, so, you know, we just got to do a better job of knowing assignments uh, and following through and executing, you know, defensively. All right, so let's talk about you, boys. Um, Jasmine had, has had some off nights um, for the past few games, and she really stepped up tonight. Um, how did you like it tonight? I thought Jasmine was, was huge. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, she had 19 points and double figures and rebounding. The, the rebounding is the deal that, you know, when, when she rebounds the basketball the way she did, she did tonight, uh, it just puts her in a, a more aggressive mind state. Uh, and so I think she, you know, she carries that over to the offensive end. Uh, I thought she did a great job of scoring around the basket. She got some second chance points around the basket. Uh, but, you know, even bigger than that, I challenged her during one time out. She responded. She came in. Uh, she got big time blocks down the stretch. Uh, she grabbed a couple key rebounds down the stretch. Uh, you know, she just she just did the things that a senior leader uh, should do to help our team win and, and obviously you know it helped us tonight. Let's talk again about she's uh, you know perfect shooting from behind the arc. Yeah. Uh, how critical was that uh, in this team? Oh I thought it was huge. Obviously she was seven or seven from the three, that's twenty one points. Uh, you know it's funny uh, she went from probably being somebody that the other team wouldn't guard outside the three-point line to uh, them yelling out on the floor, who has five to shoot? Uh, I don't know if I uh, would have thought that those two words would have uh, went together. Uh, but she, uh, she she works hard. She, she's, she's a worker. She's, you know, as much as Jasmine is important as a senior leader, you know, her energy and her effort and just her her presence out on the floor is huge for this team. She uh, she's a tough kid. She's a coach's kid. Um, she's done everything we've asked her, uh, asked of her since she's been here and more. Um, and you know we, we you know we talk all the time about putting in the work and, and then you get rewarded at the end. And I, 
obviously tonight was the night where she got rewarded. All right, so you guys are five and one down in the Big West. You guys are alone. Um, another tough game on Saturday. So how are you guys gonna approach that game? Uh, obviously, Santa Barbara uh, is a completely different style. We have to get ready to play a different, com completely different brand of basketball. Uh, at the end of it, we, we always want to play. One hell of a night for you behind the, <laughs> behind the line. Um, seven of seven. So describe you know that feeling of. Uh, when I made the first one, I was like, all right, like, okay, I made a three, and then I made the second one, and I was like, okay, that's good, and then when I made the third one, then I, that was when shock kicked in, and then after that, I was like, my confidence was in, and I was just like, all right, I'm on a roll, I'm going to keep shooting, and the last one I made when they called that timeout, and I went in, and everyone came jumping at me, I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, I was just really happy and like proud that I was able to be confident to continue shooting because that hasn't been my high lately. So um, it was a pretty unforgettable night. So are you usually, you know, because usually you don't take that many threes from mm -hmm. in a game. Um, are you usually a pretty good three point shooter? Um, I I guess. I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not afraid to shoot it, but I, the tendency is for me to drive more. But today I was confident enough to keep looking for the shot. So. All right, so you guys were in another close, uh, close game. Mm -hmm. Unlike last Saturday, where you guys came back from 13, this mm -hmm. one was close the whole night. Um, what just kept you guys driving forward and getting that win? We were talking about this after the game that our whole team was just with each other the whole time. Like everyone was talking to each other, the bench was communicating. We were talking the whole time. We'd come in, we'd say good job, we'd give each other tips. Like it was just a huge team effort, and it was really great to see everyone contributing on and off the court. So I think that's what kept our heads up and we just never gave up. Like, so the game was a little high scoring. Um, defensively, what could have you guys done to you know, try and stop? Um, we, had a, we had a couple of slow moments when we didn't get out on three point shooters, which we knew who they were and we should have got out there. But um, we got back in it and we um, got out on them after that. So then we were able to come back towards the end. So. I mean, we just needed to talk more and listen to what we were supposed to do, so. Thanks, Ashley. You came up with the game wing basket. Uh, talk me through that. Um, I feel like some of the baskets earlier in the game were more important. Um, Ashley Goy had a great night with her seven, first seven from the three-point line. Uh, so I just had an easy layup at the end. And, yeah, I mean, uh, we ran a play, coach drew up a really good play, and all of Cal Poly thought it was going to Jasmine, and then it left me wide open, so Haley made a good pass. All right. So um, you were in a bit of foul trouble in that second half, you had four, and then coach put you in the last few minutes, um, but you were there just to make good defensive stops. Um, what drove the team just to keep pushing forward and trying to rush that win? Um, well, before we had scouted, and. Uh, knew that a lot of their plays were going to be run through uh, Christina Santiago and their shooter, um, they had a couple shooters on their team. So I think that we really did a good job of stopping Santiago and we could have got out on more of their shooters, but um, I think that lately our team has just made an adjustment in our attitude and we, we get stops instead of just like falling back and letting them score. All right, so you guys are uh, five and one right now in the Big West, ten of eight overall. Um, you've been on the team for a while. How does it feel just to be to be up right now and knowing that you guys have a really good shot in the tournament? Uh, we have a different team this year. Um, our team chemistry is really good, and everyone on the team is a hard worker. Uh, our practices are extremely hard, and I think that's where we win our games. 